Hi everybody, Space Junkie 79 here. Uh, going to do a video today um, for a basic guide on how to fly your ship. Obviously, when you first get the game, this is something that is most important to you. You just want to, be able to fly around, do some cinematic shots and that sort of stuff, and just get used to flying it. So hopefully, this guide will help a lot of you out. So let's dive straight in. So I've got my little starter ship here, which was the RSI Aurora. Let's get our sounds in. So I normally use two joysticks, but for this I'm going to use the keyboard and mouse, okay? So we're all on the same page. So, to fire up our ship, you want to push R. So push R, and this will fire up the ship. There are two ways you can request departure, okay? So you can do the default, which is Alt and N now, or you can use your MFDs, your motor uh, functional displays, and you see this one here, Arkell Wise Station for, uh, Forest Station. If you click that there, it will also ask for departure. Initiating ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. There you go. Thank you for your cooperation. You are clear to launch. So hopefully we won't end up back in storage, because that won't work particularly well. So, to launch our ship, and the best way to do it, you use your mouse wheel. And you can see on the left hand side here your thrust will go up only do it a tiny bit don't put it right to the top because obviously that's when the ship will just fly straight up in the hangar so just do a tiny amount now hold spacebar and we're off it's as easy as that next we're going to use w which makes us go forward we're going to come out the hangar and obviously the more thrust you have the quicker you're going to go so we're just going to keep our speed down for the minute now movement so you can use your mouse to circle the vehicle like so left Thank and right and, please visit again. and again i have set the sensitivity right down on my mouse in the control panel so obviously again it's a bit more forgiving when you first get into the game this is set at a ridiculous speed so i have slowed mine right down so again you may want to do that all right so again it's nice and easy using your mouse side south backwards and forwards just like so the a and d is literally so you're panning left and right the s is actually to fly backwards okay just like so if you want to go down you hold control all right so let's go through those one more time space bar lifts you up control is to go down you can go left and right by using the a and d w takes you forward and s is reverse there is something on here which is a space brake which is operated by x okay so if you find yourself going a bit too fast hold down x and you'll be using the boost to slow the ship down all right so the next thing we want to do we want to navigate to a planet so what we can do is, if we hold down F2, bring up our star map, and we're just going to pilot ourselves to Arc Wolf. All right, so let's just go set route. That was F2, followed by F2. Now press B. This will bring up our quantum drive. Next thing you want to do is we need to align the center of this target with where we want to go. So again, just use your mouse. Hover it over the target, you can see it all calibrate. Now we want to do our quantum jump. If you hold B, we will then enter quantum, quantum jump. Is now this is also a nice little feature. So obviously when you're doing your quantum jumps, if you want to do your take some pictures, if you push F4, we'll take you to the outside view of your ship. Now, if you push Z, you can actually pan around your ship and have a good look. Few little photo opportunities there if you do uh, do wish uh, do so wish so uh, and again if you hold f4 and use your mouse wheel you can actually zoom in and out okay so that's how you do that let's go back inside so once again f4 takes you to the outside view hold z enables you with your mouse to be able to circle around the vehicle 
All right. Push send again. Sorry, push F4 again. We'll take you back inside. And once again, if you held F4 and used your mouse wheel, you can scroll in and out of the actual zoom. So now we're approaching Arcorp. And what we're going to do is we're also going to look at different landing zones and that sort of thing on a planet. So I'm just going to take us to Arcorp. I want to use up a little bit of fuel because I want to show you how to refuel as well once we're on a different planet surface. So this is the starter ship. This is the RSI Aurora. Um, again, Titan is very, very popular, but so this little ship enables you to bedlog and all that sort of stuff. But we'll cover that. So what we're going to do here, we're going to have to wait for cooldown. Now, anything that is red, we can't jump to because it's on the other side of the planet. So what we may need to do is use things called an outer marker to be able to get to the other side of the planet. So as you can see here, we've got OM3. This will actually transport us to the other side of Arcorp. And then the ones that are highlighted in red here, we can then actually get to. Okay. The shapes like this that are solid, this is this side of the planet. And the ones that are broken like this one just here, that means it's on the other side of the planet. Okay. Hopefully that will make sense to you. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to jump to uh, Lyria. So if we push F2, bring up our star map. If we double click on Arcorp, this zooms in and we want to go to Lyria. So click on Lyria, push set route, F2. Now this is the only route now that will show up. So it makes it a lot easier. So you get a little blue arrow, just pan down and here's our route. So again, align ourselves up. Wait for it to get to 100. Hold B. We're off. So we're going to jump to Lyria. And what we're going to do next is we're going to find a safe place to land. And we're, I'm going to show you how to refuel your ship. Quantum drive is now off. Okay, so... Once again, anything in red is on the other side of the planet and we can't jump to it. However, these ones we can do. So a broken outline means we can jump to the other side of the planet. The ones that are solid means they're on our side of the planet. Okay. So what you have is you have mining facilities and you have processing facilities. If you head to a processing facility, you will end up getting shot at okay because it's a protected site whereas a mining facility you can fly to repair with fuel loot some obviously buildings and that sort of stuff so let's just head here so again align ourselves wait for it all to ready up hold b we're now going to jump to that World facility is now off. Hopefully it's on the uh, right side, which it is, which is good. Now, we are at a punny angle here. Some more controls for you. So if you want to tilt the ship left and right, we will use Q and E. So Q will obviously go to the left. E will obviously go to the right. Okay, and if you can do a complete spin... And that's how that works, okay? So if you ever find yourself a little bit skewy, use Q and E. So what we can do is, we can actually leave this on at the moment. We are too close to doing any more quantum jumps. But what it does mean is it's just a little countdown so we can actually see how close we're getting. So, once again, push B. And we're off. Our thrust at the moment is still very, very low. Okay, so when you're starting out, keep this down. Because otherwise, what will happen is you will end up just go far too fast. You'll end up crashing into buildings or into the grounds. So just take your time when you're starting out. And when you're doing your mouse movements, just do it nice and gradually and slowly. Because believe me, when you do a full one and it's quickly left and right, it goes very, very quick. So just little movements. And if you feel yourself getting a little bit out of shape, Q and E just to straighten the ship up again. So we're going to head down. 
to the planet's surface. Just here, on the right-hand side, that is the distance to the ground. Okay, so we're at 2,000 meters now before we crash into the ground. Just going to come back up, level our ship out. So again, all nice and slowly, take your time. We're just going to cruise in. We're only 9,000 meters out now. If we just go down a little bit more. Now we're going to take B off, so we'll lose that. Because once we get close enough to it, we should start seeing some flashing lights of the buildings. I'm just going to slow our boost down, as you can hear. And now we're literally just cruising in, taking it nice and slowly. Gives us a chance to obviously uh, see the actual buildings itself, and also hopefully not crash into anything as well. So, hold X, engage is the boost, to actually bring us to a stop. Okay, just like so. And now while we're here, we can also have a little pan rounds. We are in a, an armistice zone, so we're not going to get destroyed or anything like that. There are a few vehicles here. Uh, I think the C2 has possibly been seeing better days. So obviously again, just using W, takes us in. You can slow it right down, so it's literally just a crawl. Tiny bit of an increment. Using the mouse wheel, we're now just to fly through. Again, just take your time. Tiny little movements using the mouse. As you can see here, we're just doing a nice little fly around. No rush on anything, guys. You can literally just take all the time you need. Someone's rock. Yep. Someone's little vehicle there. But it is a really, really nice being able to fly yourselves around. But the thing is, guys, don't try and do things too quickly. Just take your time. So that we can pan ourselves around here. We haven't got a lot of boost on. Going plenty quick enough. And it just enables us to keep control of the ship without losing it. Because believe me, once you've got obviously a things ramp, ramped right up these things go at a very very rapid speed so again just take your time you can use the mouse wheel if you want to turn a bit quicker move more to the right if you want to go away from it move to the left and we can obviously go here and again if we're finding ourselves getting a little bit too low hold spacebar will take us back up so what we do is we're going to have, have a look at this i think this is another c2 up here if we increase our speed again, so we're going to use the mouse wheel, cycle it forward, as you can see, picked up speed quite quickly there. And again, slow ourselves, scroll the mouse wheel back. And again, we're just keeping everything nice and slow and under control. It looks like someone's lost their box there. I'll we'll check that out in a little bit, see if there's any goodies inside. And again, so we can pan round, take our time, we can have a little look at the ship to come up, bring ourselves to a halt. I think there's someone, a body down there, I think. Doesn't look too good. So again, literally, guys, it's it's really, really easy. Just take your time. That's the biggest thing you can do. Always loads of low thrust. If you want to go fast, scroll wheel right forward. As you can see, look, what a difference. Yeah, but we just want to go slowly. We're literally just starting out in the game. Take your time. Keep it nice and slow. Enjoy the game for what it is. Because the visuals on this are nothing like anything else you'll see. So again, Q&E, straighten ourselves up. A little bit of space bar. Picks us up again. We're going to increase our speed now. We're going to head back to one of the landing platforms. To bring our landing gear down, we are going to press N. Okay, so push N. And as you can see, you do get an audio to tell you that it's down. If you're not sure, obviously you can push F4 and have a look outside the ship. Or, if you actually look here, where it says gear, 
if it has a solid outline and is illuminated that means the landing gear is down okay if it's not illuminated then it is still up inside the ship all right so again let's just slow ourselves down nice and slowly We're going to bring ourselves to land here. Sometimes, which is nice and makes it a little bit easier so you can see what you're doing. If you push F4, you can actually see outside the ship. Again, nice and slowly. We can see what we're doing. That makes it a little bit easier. Okay, but however, let's go back in the ship. Now we're going to push control very gently. Bring ourselves down. Landing complete. And we've landed. So to refuel our ship, if we push I, Engines this, are off. this turns the engines off. However, all our shields are still intact. All right. If you push R and turn everything off, your ship is not protected. So if you get an enemy ship come along or uh, a player that wants to attack your ship, they will destroy it obviously a lot quicker and they can board your ship, etc. So always make sure you push I when you've landed. To keep the shields up so to refuel your ship if we press f1 bring up your moby glass we're now going to use this spanner here click the spanner this is the services that we require all right so we don't need to repair we don't need to restock however we do need a little bit of quantum fuel so just click that and we do need a little bit of hydrogen fuel click those you get a display in the middle of your screen. You can see it says refuel in progress. Do not lift off. Once obviously they're done, the light that will disappear. So now we're fully refueled and ready to go again. So let's do it all from the beginning. This is a quick recap, guys. So we're going to shut everything off. Push engines are off. I. Okay, which is turning the engines back on. Space bar will give us the launch we want. However, first of all, we just need to increase our thrust. So push that. You can see how quick that was. And I literally tapped the space bar. And again, W to move ourselves forward. Just like so, I've just slowed us down again by using the mouse wheel. And then as we're circling around, just use the mouse left and right to move where you want to go. If you want to look up, push it forward. If you want to look down, Put it towards you with the mouse. Now, if you look, want to look at something and you want to pan, use your A key to go left, B to go right, and obviously S is to reverse. All right? So nice and easy. And don't forget, if you find yourself going too fast, you can slow yourself down using the mouse wheel, scroll it right back, or you can use X, which is your space break. You can hear the boost kick in there. If you want to go back down, use control. You can tap it just so it's nice and gradual. And whenever you take off again, if you push N, it will bring the landing gear back up. Landing gear rate. Okay. And once you get used to it, have a good fly around, guys. Don't don't be shy. Don't worry about it. You're going to crash your ship. It's just part and parcel of learning the game. But again, just increase the speed a little bit more until you feel comfortable. Always go out when you first start don't go out and buy yourself loads of expensive gear and armor and weapons because you're going to crash your ship and you'll lose it all so my biggest advice is just get out in the ship practice flying take your time and just enjoy the game for what it is because the visuals as i say are absolutely amazing on this and you can just literally just have a good fly around some of the planets you have plenty of credit to start off with and then look to obviously uh, start expanding your gameplay into maybe some uh, you know delivery missions or some bunker missions if that's where you want to go but yeah just enjoy it guys well i hope this has been a really good help to you help to you all um obviously please do keep liking and subscribing to the channel it really is a big help and a big boost to me uh, and obviously the the channel is doing exceptionally well at the moment just like to keep that going but thank you once again for all the support and all the subscriptions it really is appreciated i hope you found this helpful and i'll see you all very, very soon. Many thanks and bye for now.